<clears throat> Hi, Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is your next 72 hours. Those of you who rock with me know that this may not happen in the next 72. This may happen a week or so later it can. All right, Sagittarius, I want to go ahead and announce that I am closed for personal readings. <clears throat> I ha I've had some people inquire about the personal readings, and I'm not doing those quite yet. Um, I may do them a little bit later on, maybe in the next two months. I'm not quite sure, but when I am, when I do decide to reopen them, I will go ahead and make that announcement again and let you guys know. Um, but with that being said, today's video is sponsored by Keen. Um, Keen is a wonderful way to get a reading if you're interested in getting a psychic reading. Um, they have a, Keen is a website where they have a bunch of psychic advisors on there, like hundreds of them. I would suggest if you really feel like you need to find a um, psychic advisor to go on Keen. Right now they're running a special. You can get your first 10 minutes for $1.99, which is awesome. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with speaking to someone directly like myself, um, they have the chat where you can chat with an advisor or you can make a phone call and talk to them directly. Um, and they're very fast. That's what I like. They're pretty freaking fast. So I would recommend trying Keen. Go ahead and hit that description box down below and find yourself an advisor on Keen. All right. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Sagittarius. We're going to open up. With Matthew 7, 7, it says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. I love that. Amen. Okay. And I apologize if I sound a little weird. I'm still not 100%, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> we're going to make it work. I'm still a little bit under the weather. It's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> okay. For my Sagittarius's, for my Sagittarius's, okay, their recent past energy for Sag, thank you. We have the Ten of Wands feeling burdened. You guys were feeling burdened. Clarification, why were they feeling burdened? Okay, yeah. Some of you, Sagittarius, what I'm getting right now. Some of you are feeling very, very burdened <clears throat> with some type of change that has happened. Um, I'm getting unexpected or sudden adhesion. Some type of unexpected change that has recently happened where you're just not really, you weren't really feeling it. Sorry, I need to take a sip of my tea. You were not feeling what this um, change was. For some of you, it definitely caused it some type of heartache. And I'm also getting, for some of you, there was a change when it came to a mother. Something to do with a mother figure. Um, others of you, it's not a mother. <coughs> excuse me. Others of you, it's not a mother. It's like something creative that you were doing. And another group of you, it has something totally different. It doesn't even have anything that, to do with what I was actually saying. But there's some type of change that you're just like, I'm not really, not really feeling that at all. I feel like there was definitely some type of communication here with the water carrier right here. Um, I'm using the, if you're interested in knowing what deck this was. This is the Zodiac. This is the N2 Oracle. Zodiac 108. The N2 Oracle. Zodiac 108. If you're interested, people want to know what decks I use. And that's my new one. For some of you, this definitely involved you in a water sign because we have water again. Person of water. Yeah. There was definitely some type of, yeah, communication. Someone here is also probably feeling very burdened because they're having to care for someone else, I'm getting. It's been kind of hard. All right, what's going on with Sagittarius? We have the Two of Swords right here in the next, let's see, the Two of Swords. Can I get a clarification? What are you at a, you're having to make a difficult decision. You're having to face your fears about something. Some of you are having to make a difficult, someone here, 
not everyone, is having to make a difficult decision when it comes to your children. <clears throat> a child or children. Clarification. Let's see. We have the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups with the Three of Swords that's coming out as well. Yeah, some of you need to... I'm also getting a group of you need to make a truce with something. Like a truce. And it has something to do with the past. A past issue. Because the Six of Cups is about the past. In order for your... Dreams to come dreams to come true, but it's really interesting because we have the nine of cups here. This is positively realize, okay, realizing your dreams, okay. Oh, okay, spirit. <clears throat> Give me just a second. I need to drink a water. Some of you in the next 72, you're having to make a decision based off something in the past, like memories, um, something from the past. Because you're now realizing a dream. And in order to get what you want, this fulfillment that you want, you're having to make this decision here. For some of you, this definitely involves being homesick. <clears throat> feeling homesick. Maybe you're deciding you want to move back home. I'm getting. Yeah, you're having to release something. The balloons always record, um, represent releasing to me. Letting go. You're having to let go of something from the past <clears throat> to get what you want. It's going to give you a relief. For some of you, it intends, it's something about you speaking up about something. You may have not even wanted to do that. Um... What should Sagittarius look out for? Someone here might be getting some balloons. I'm getting as well. Working with a lot, like water. Someone's working with water too. In the next 72, something about water. Water is very significant. Mm. I like that. Nine of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles with the Hierophant here. So the Nine of Pentacles is all about, <clears throat> it's like the good life. They're saying, give me the green light. You have the green light for something. There is something to do. And I keep getting this with like, I think this is a collective thing. Something about... I don't know if this is because it's the year 2022. Sorry, I had to swallow. But this is like a year of a lot of union. Like it's something about looking out for some type of um, union here that's going to bring you some abundance. There's some type of union. This is like the year of union or something, which makes sense because it's 222, you know. Um, I'm also getting, okay. Spirit says, don't try to do everything all on your, on your own. Because I'm also looking at how this is the nine of pentacles, someone who's standing alone, just doing it alone. And then there's like some type of, um, the hierophant. Hierophant is like contracts and, um, oh, contracts and marriage. Some of you need to know that you're not going to, it's good that you're doing stuff alone, but you're going to need help. I'm also getting contracts here. Something about paying attention to a contract. Paying attention to the fine print with something in the next 72. Pay attention to those contracts. It's for Sagittarius. Oops. That's too many. We have cat here. <laughs> not my problem I'm getting my way or the highway some of you may need to not be so stubborn and work with someone else I'm getting like make sure you're not 
getting into that my way or the highway. And it's vice versa with someone else. Um, because cats are very stubborn. I have a cat. <laughs> cats can be very stubborn. Make sure you're li you're listening to, you know, getting... For someone, someone here also needs to get a mentor of some type, like some advice. Like you're trying to do something. I'm just picking up on energy of someone trying to do something completely on their own. But you're going to need some help. That's what I'm getting here. Someone here might also be getting a new cat, a new pet, a cat. It's very significant, something about a cat. Um, ooh, I love that. We have the world. Spirit is letting you know that this is about to end right here. Where everything was like, you're going to be re releasing the illusions, releasing fear. Your blocked intuition, all that's coming to a close here. Because of, we have the world with the five of pentacles. So this is closing this chapter of feeling left out in the cold, not having a lot. It's closing here. Please read your contracts very um, carefully in the next 72. And don't be so stubborn, like work with other people, you know, use your intuition too, though. You know, certain people you don't need to be working with, but um, make sure you're not being stubborn. I'm getting. Okay, let's see what else is happening with Sag. The next 72. We have a family inheritance here. Some of you are about to get a family inheritance, something inherited from your family. What else? I thought that flipped over, but it didn't flip over. Let's see what else is happening. Yeah. See you avoiding someone. You'll be avoiding someone or something. You're avoiding someone or something in the next 72 hours to a week ahead. Also see a last minute trip. There's going to be some type of a last minute trip here. else trying to get one more for you one more all right holy spirit one more thank you we also have thursday being very significant something happening on a thursday who are you avoiding let's see what are you avoiding what is sagittarius avoiding <laughs> okay, we have the Page of Swords here. Yeah, you're avoiding someone. I feel like it's really someone. It could be something too, but um, you saw something. Something you observed, something you saw, and you're not liking it, so you're avoiding this person. <clears throat> Let me take a drink of my tea. Yeah. What is Thursday? Sometimes I ask about these. Sometimes I don't. Mm. I feel like on Thursday, this isn't for everyone. Everyone's Thursday is going to be different. I feel like you're walking away from something. And it could be an employer I'm getting. Or an earth sign. Um, but please make sure on Thursday, you guys are not like falling into that negative energy. Because the five of swords is like a bunch of negative feelings, negative energies as well. I'm getting. <clears throat> okay. Let me pull a love message. Communication. Make sure you guys have communication. That um, This card keeps coming out. Open communication. Make sure you're communicating clearly with the person. And then we got retreat again. I'm telling you. Make sure you have clear communication and that you take some time, like a pause, uh, away from everybody. Time for you to heal and recharge when it comes to your relationships. Oh, okay. Spirit says, let them know how you feel. That's for someone. You need to let them know how you feel. Okay. What else for Sagittarius? For their money. 
We have gears, money flow, hard work. You guys are working really hard on your money flow. Okay, so your plans are going to be going into motion, but I'm not going to lie, your income is a little bit fluctuating. Like, um, <clears throat> your income may be fluctuating a little bit, and Spirit is trying to tell you to, to uh, obtain a new strategy. There's some new strategy that you're going to have to take. So many of you know what this is, and you're going to do it. But it does look like a bit of a fluctuating income here. Um, Reevaluate how you're doing things. But I see you're working really hard on your money flow. I'm also seeing a job change. All right, let me go ahead and pull a channel message. We got the light body activation. So we have light body activation. Some of you might be getting some ascension symptoms. Um, your true self is being activated. That's what the light body activation means to me. It can mean something totally different to other people. Um, the housekeeper story. Okay. So y'all want me to tell how? Okay. So some of you, someone here may have to take a <clears throat> step down in a position, a higher position. And like work as a housekeeper, I had to do it for a little bit. And I learned so much um, on how to clean my home. So if you're basically what I'm trying to tell you, if you're finding that you're having to take a step down and maybe you're making it much more or less, don't get depressed. Really look at it as an opportunity to learn something new on that job. Like try to turn it into something positive. And once you do that, like I had to do that. I'm a nurse and I had to step down and do housekeeping for a little bit. I wasn't even there that long. I started like learning different techniques um, I literally was there for maybe like a month <laughs> to tell you the truth. And then, um, after I had a positive attitude about it, um, I asked God to take me out of it and sure, sure as crap, I ended up out of it and back into a nursing position. Okay. So know that you won't be there for long, but try to look at the positive. That's for someone. An unexpected vacation. Expect an unexpected vacation. <clears throat> It says you will be able to afford the surgery this year. Someone's getting a surgery this year. I just had mine. <laughs> um, we also have rekindling your love for something. You're going to be rekindling your love for something or someone. We also have a new favorite song. And yes, apologize. Okay, yes. There's going to be a need for you. Maybe you're like, should I apologize? Someone needs to apologize. All right, Sagittarius, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you really like it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.